Hello guys and welcome to my channel. First of all, I will thank all the new subscribers. It's 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 cool that so many have subscribed, and I will just say thanks to all the subscribers. Thanks very much. But it's not the point of this video. At this point is Elder Scrolls Online has posted a new post, Conflict and Surgical Part One, and in that part uh, they tell something about that the thing I find are interested uh, interesting in this game you know like guild wars 2 have the big world versus world so in elder scrolls online they also got the part this the part where there's war in suradil it's like uh, you know the three factions in the game uh daggerfall covenant ebonheart pact or uh, and El Eldmire dominion they are fighting each other in this land, Cyrodiil, where you know Imperial cities, the Dinalhal, Bruma, Chorole, Flying Guard, Quatsch, Anvil, Bravil, Levine, and the Blackwood. You know, the cities from. I think Cyrodiil was in the game of Oblivion. Am I right, or am I totally, totally wrong? I'm not sure. I I think I'm right, but uh, I'm not sure. I can see here. Okay, I'm I'm right. I think maybe all you guys need to give me a listen. But in this epic post, they talk about the conflicts in Cyrodiil, where they say something like, "If you like to exploring." No matter what you enjoy the most, you will find something to do in Cyrodiil. As you support your alliance at the wall, you don't have to wait to participate either. You can jump in experience all the province has to offer starting at level 10. If you enjoy the fighting against players in the other alliance, you'll find no shortage of PvP combat in Cyrodiil, but there's much more. And already there, it sounds very interesting, and you now you just think, Hmm, I need to hear more about that. Yeah, you need to hear more about that. But first of all, there are towns, several towns in Cyrodiil like Shaden Hill and Bruma are home to citizens eager for protection a and assistance of the war threatened to destroy their homes and ravage their land. Desperate, they'll accept, accept help from any alliance and they're willing to pay. The citizens of towns in Cyrodiil are neutral towards players' ca characters but guards from the alliance that hold navy keeps will patrol the streets. So if your alliance have to capture this city, then the guards is going to protect the city. So if if um, I'm going to play Ebonheart Pack, so if I got the the city Bruma and I capture it with my, I'm going to uh, have a big guild in this game. And if you capture the guild at uh, this city, then all the even Ebonheart Pack guards are going to defend that city so it means Nord and Dark Elves and I don't remember the last name of the race in Ebon have Ebon Part have oh Ebon Hard Pack they have Nord, Dark Elf and Argonians. So those guards are going to protect Bruma if are my alliance not my alliance but the Ebon Part Pack if they got Bruma. I don't know if you can take Imperial City I it will be a little bit boring if you can't take over that city and if you see the trailer from Elder Scrolls Online you can see they are fighting a big a big um, castle and I'm really sure that's Imperial City you can capture um, I mean I have been at the Imperial City in Oblivion I can't remember but I'm sure that it was Oblivion please tell me if it's this is right that Oblivion was in Cyrodiil but, but also, in Cyrodiil, in the World vs. World, or whatever th they are calling it, the Alliance War, you know, the drums of war have reached the favor pledge, blah 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 blah. You know, big war, massive epic battle, the Elder Scrolls Online future is the largest PvP battle seen in major online RPG. The game supports hundreds of on-screen players in epic battles. Swords and axes collide, spells and powerful emanating the ground and sky, and fire rage in bridge stronghold walls. So, you know, there's territory gains, control Elder Scrolls Online, siege weapons, 
and you can become an emperor if you want and yeah there's gonna be a leaderboards and achievements and points and gold so you can earn money in it so 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 this elder scrolls online you can you know do dungeons you can raids you can questing you can farming you can do whatever you want learn your character better but this is my favorite pl favorite place i'm going to i'm going to this place Suridol the alliance war where you can you can just go to level 10 and then you can go to max level from there if you want you can craft you can protect you can kill you can war you can defend you can do it whatever you want and the epic part is there's also dungeons and caves and ruins in Suridil you can explore so it's not only you know like it was 2 where it's only pvp in this one you can also just do whatever you want so it's a massive server like world of warcraft a server with pvp but you can also do quests in that map and dungeons and exploring but let's continue uh, and in this place you can also craft and I know you just you know it's just there's crafting tables and you can get points from crafting and you know I'm say crafting you know already what I'm talking about so j just let's let's skip that point but an interesting thing is there are guild quests and now not like guild wars two quests in with the guild this guild quest is if you know the mage guild the fighters guild like from um, the Elder Scrolls Online, uh, the Elder Scrolls game where guilds are, the Mage Guild, the Fighter Guilds, and both the Mage and the Fighters Guild have interest in Cyrodiil, assisting them in their efforts by braving the volatile area will allow you to increase your standing in each guild. So it's just mean like in World of Warcraft when you're getting reputation with, um, maybe in Mr. Fendai you can get reputation with uh, the Shadow the shadow pants i'm sure then shadow pan yeah maybe shadow pan and if you get exalted with them you can get a maybe ninja tiger to ride on but we know in this game you get more cool items like um yeah i don't know like what but they're just saying you can fight with them you can get advanced with them so i'm guessing it will give some goods but let's get to the next point. Ruins and caves. Caves, crumbling towers and caves, crumbling towers, so also crumbling towers, that sounds cool. And islet ruins do the landscape in certain locations and blah 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 blah. You know, there's gonna be in ruins, cave, crumbling towers, and don't know what crumb crumbling towers. Uh, okay, that's just scary towers that is alone so i guessing the towers will be full with undeads maybe werewolves or something but next point campaigns a campaign consists of a group of pl players battling for control of Suridil for a set period of time think months not days or weeks multiple campaigns in Suridil occur at the same time you'll be assigning a campaign based on several factors like alliance campaign population and your guilds However, you'll be able to visit campaigns in order to join your friends for evening or join a new one, but a cost of alliance points or gold. So, I guess campaigns is like a big raid or a big group that is doing something, but it says, but at a cost of alliance points or gold. So you're starting an event, but it costs several points or uh, gold and alliance points. Uh, alliance point I'm getting to that now. Rewards. If you choose to particip participate in ongoing battle in Cyrodiil you'll be awarded with alliance points, experience and gold. You can use alliance points to purchase armor, weapons or to advance in several skills lines specific to Cyrodiil. These skills lines will allow you to become a more powerful fighter, a greater leader or an expert in warfare. So that means you can get the points buy some nice pvp armor, buy some nice weapons and you can get some skills that have to do with Cyrodiil I guess in, uh, in when you're leaving Cyrodiil you don't have the skills maybe or maybe not you can I just don't think you can use the skills outside but inside I guess you can make marks on the map like a planet side too you can get spawning points marks on the maps you get some leader skills that make it easier for your team to win 
but this was the first part they released on this Alliance for Conflict in Surreal Part 1, it says on their home site, and I'm guessing this was all because they haven't explored more, but uh, they say here, um, make sure to check back for Part 2, so when back Part 2 I'm coming, I'm gonna tell you guys about what it is, so this movie was just to telling you guys, don't read whatever they are, you, you, you can read what they are telling about but I just ex I just tol told you guys what they are meaning and what they say for an easy way to you to understand what they are meaning and now you see my interest point and when Ender Scrolls Online is going to be released you can find all things on the game on my channel I'm gonna make movies of everything in this game I'm gonna make movies about every dungeon raid classes professions everything in guy inside the game so this game is going to be my favorite game and i'm going to s use all my time on this but let's see about it and let's hope i'm i can get into the beta and i know the beta right now has the nda on it you know non-disclosure agreements where you can't tell about the game and i hope in it will be lifted so when i get into the beta i maybe can be so lucky to stream it or play so you guys can see I have signed up as a reporter because I got this channel so but thank you guys for watching and this was Conflict in Cyrodiil part 1 have a nice day